Hi, I'm Emma and I'm here to show you some tips and techniques of how to do beautiful makeup. In the description below are the links to all the products I use in this tutorial. Any questions, please leave me a comment below. Hi, so today's tutorial is with Florence again and today we're going to do a beautiful green pigmented eye and I'm not going to redo the base, so if you miss the base, you need to look at last week's tutorial. Today I'm going to start doing the eyeshadow using a cream eyeshadow from Givenchy, which is an ombre couture. It's, uh, it's quite a fast drying one, but um, uh, it works really well as a base because it's slightly tacky. It works as a base to stick the pigment on, which I've done before in previous videos. So I'm just using my um, 224 brush and putting it all on the lid and then blending out using a really clean, this is Rocky Cosette brush. Um, and just trying to get the shape not too over the socket line and just winging it out. Just cleaning it up with my concealer brush as I always do and then applying it obviously to the other side. So you start at the inner eye corner, work your way out into the socket line and wing out on the edge. And by using the clean brush to blend it, you kind of can manipulate the eyeshadow to go into a slight wing. So it gives a little bit more drama to the eye. So just, I do a couple of coats until it's at a good place and then go in with my pigment. I'm using a Pat McGrath brush actually today. This is one from that you get with the palettes. Um, and this is a Nocturnal Nirvana eyeshadow quad um, in Blitz Emerald. It's a really great pigment. Um, so you can wet the brush, spray it with a bit of Evian spray and then dip it into the pigment and then put onto the eye, it stops the spillage and also gives it more intensity and then it'll dry, but it just gives it that um, really, really intense color. So I'm just blending that in and then using a smaller brush just to get the outer edges. If you have any spillages, just use a cotton bud um, hopefully make sure they're not plastic, um, eco-friendly. Um, there's some great bamboo cotton buds out at the moment actually, I've just bought loads of packs of those. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, and use cotton bud, clean up any edges, get the shape right, check the shape. And then I'm just gonna go back in with some concealer, Laura Mercier, um, secret camouflage, tidy up the skin for any spillages. I'm using soap brow today. I love soap brow. You, you, it's it's like a transparent soap, and you put it on with one of these little spoolies. And this is my Glossier um, Brow Ink. This is in brown. These can be. You have to be careful with these. These can come out really intense. So when you first open it, the ink, if the pen's been sitting a certain way, the ink might come rushing out so I would say be careful but it's better when it's been used a bit so that it's not so um, runny the ink but it's great for really natural feathery brows. I'm going to go in with my um, highlighter. Today I'm going to use a different highlighter, I've got many. Um, I'm going to use a Shantikai one, all the products will be listed and then just Clean up the brow bone so that I can put a little bit of highlighter in there too, and obviously on the cheek C. Um, I need to add some mascara. This is my Chanel mascara. And today I'm gonna to add some lashes. I haven't added lashes before. So once you've got the mascara on, obviously curl the lash mascara. These are like a quarter lash. You can buy them in quarters or you can cut them down. So you just cut the outer, the outer bit off. Or if you want really small lashes, just cut the inner bit and use them in, on the outer side. Um, so put them in, look down, place them and uh, then let them dry. 
So I'm adding a blush today. I'm using a similar shade to what I normally use just because I like the fresh look and it is Kiko um, blusher. I think it's number two, Kiko. And some little bit of Givenchy lip gloss. So now the lashes have dried, I can go in with my mascara wand and it just helps to reinforce the lashes and blends in the fake lash to the natural lash. And there you go. Um, and this is just a little bit of powder, obviously, just to get where I get rid of any hot spots, um, any shine. And I always just apply down the T-zone. Very rarely do I take it to the outer edges. So you get that nice, fresh skin. And there you go. Finished look. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and comment. Um, new videos are going to be uploaded onto my channel every Saturday. So please subscribe. Yeah.